Let's rank the Final Destination movies today. Let's go. Hey guys, this is Josh with J Show Horror back again. Today I'm going to be giving you my ranking of the Final Destination franchise. Now, overall, I love this franchise, and there's only one movie in this series that I don't like out of five movies. That's like a really good track record for a horror franchise. And definitely go down in the comment section below, and give me your ranking of these movies. Of course, be going from worst to best. Number five is The Final Destination, aka Final Destination 4. I saw this movie in the theater and I hated every second of this movie. This was the first movie and only movie so far in the series that I did not like at all. I thought the opening was terrible with the NASCAR crash scene and a lot of terrible CGI throughout this entire movie. And this movie is the only movie in the series where I don't care about one or two of the characters. I don't give a crap about anybody at all in this movie. They're all bad and they're all written so terribly. And there is like no suspense or anything in this movie. The, the rest of the series has great suspenseful scenes and build up to the deaths. In this movie, no, I don't care about any of the deaths. And there's not really even one great death in this movie either in a series full of awesome deaths. You can't give me one great death. Like there's one with a uh, escalator, but that was like a flashback. So that really isn't a death scene per se. And then there's like this one kind of fun scene I, I like with uh, involved in a car wash. But besides that, I, I hate this movie and I don't give a crap about anybody. Like almost everybody annoys me in this. The only one that I sort of think is likable is the guy who see, has the premonition, his girlfriend. She's somewhat likable, but nobody else in this movie is likable. No Tony Todd in this movie. Just, just a terrible, terrible movie in my eyes and just terrible cgi throughout the entire thing and you got the the guy who's seeing like glimpses of the deaths but it's like all cgi like he's dreaming of these deaths before they happen it's just crappy cgi just overall i think final destination 4 is terrible and anytime i rewatch this movies i this i skip final destination 4 i just can't stand that movie so yeah and then now i'm jumping there's like a giant jump in quality for me i love the rest of the four movies in the series i just think this is overall a great great series besides final destination 4 so coming in at number four i'm going to give it to the final destination 5 i do love the opening to this movie the br the bridge collapse i think that is easily one of the best or maybe the best opening of the series just some great effects seeing the bridge actually falling into the water and everything is so well done i think there's some great deaths in this movie the gymnastics death it has some great great build up into a awesome shot of the girl with her legs over her head she broke her back she was on the bars awesome death you even like the most annoying character in this i still kind of like more than anybody else in final destination 4 he was kind of like the nerdy guy trying to be the comic relief he's the one who died at the massars parlor and then his head gets crushed by like a buddha statue he was the worst character in the movie i thought and i still did not mind him that much and then you got Tony Todd a little more in this movie. Just, uh, I love that he has a little bit bigger of a role than normal. I even love, like, the added story element of, like, if you kill somebody, you get their time. You take their their hours or days or years if you kill them. So I thought that was a great little added story element. And then the fact that this is actually a prequel, but you never knew that the first time you watched this. And it leads into the Flight 180 scene from the first movie. I think that was such a great twist, a great end to this movie. And for the series, we are going to eventually get Final Destination 6. But for now... 
I thought this was a great ending to the series and like a great, uh, it goes full circle. So I love that. But overall, I really enjoy Final Destination 5. I just don't, I think some of the intensity and surprises is gone by the fifth movie. That's like the only reason why I have it at number four. I still really enjoy this movie every time I watch it. But yeah, that was Final Destination 5 at number four. Now coming in at number three, I'm going to give it to Final Destination 2. Now I love the car crash pile up opening into this movie. I actually really like Kim in this movie. She's the one who sees the premonition at the beginning. I also love that this one is actually kind of the most connected to the first movie in a lot of ways. And you have Claire from the first movie. She carries over into this movie. I love that she was in this movie and it just tied it together a lot better than some of the other sequels in this series and this and I feel like this movie was just kind of like maybe the most straight up fun movie in the series this movie doesn't really take itself too seriously and it just adds to the fun factor of this movie and I love that this death was going backwards in the deaths in this one to tie it to the original and how like the people getting off the plane in the first movie somehow saved these people and made them live longer and and now death is going backwards to tie up loose ends. I thought that was a great stellar way to connect one and two. And the ending with the kid blowing up at the barbecue and everything. And the mom, that arm lands in front of the mom and she's screaming. Just screams fun. And yeah, overall for me, Final Destination 2 just screams like the most fun of the series. So yeah, I always have a blast every time I watch this movie. And basically my only complaint for this movie is that they sort of somehow got Alex from the first movie in this movie with Clear. And I think this movie would be up higher even on the list. But overall, love Final Destination 2. Just so much fun and yeah, just great movie in my eyes. All right, now we're getting to the big dogs. My second favorite Final Destination movie is the original, Final Destination 1. I absolutely love this movie. I think this movie was so so well done and when and when this movie came out this movie kind of felt like fresh it was kind of like a slasher movie without the slasher you have death itself creating these elaborate deaths and I still have the fond memories of seeing this for the first time and I was blown away by everything going on in this movie it felt so new and I, I liked the characters of Alex and Claire and I even cared about Mrs. Luton in this and yeah and you even got like a Sean Williams Scott like right after American Pie in this but yeah this movie was like really cool when it came out and just the premise of like seeing it like the opening scene the plane crash and you realize that the entire beginning of this movie is a premonition that comes true and then death starts killing everybody one by one absolutely love the original and I can put this on anytime and get a blast out of this and it kind of takes me back straight back Back to the year 2000 when I watched this for the first time like every time and I absolutely love the ending of this where Alex Clear and Carter thought they escaped death and they finally go to Paris and then Carter intervenes and saves Alex and then the last shot is like Carter asking hey so who's next and Alex is like it just skipped me and you realize that a fallen sign is about to whack Carter and it just cuts to black just an amazing ending and an amazing start to this franchise overall and that ending just hooks you in and you instantly want to see the next movie so yeah I love the first Final Destination I can't get enough of this movie I thought this movie was so awesome when it came out in 2000 so yeah I love Final Destination the original but my number one all-time favorite Final Destination movie is Final Destination 3 I just love everything about this movie. I love that they have the opening on a roller coaster and a roller coaster crash. Uh, they give me probably my favorite premonition scene person of the series with Wendy, played by Mary Elizabeth Winstead. I love her to death, so having her in this movie probably makes this my number one movie as well. And I think they have kind of the very suspenseful factor in this movie, but they also have a very kind of fun factor all mixed together very 
well. Some amazing deaths, probably some of the best deaths in the series with like the, the two girls in the tanning bed scene. That death was so gruesome, so well done, and I will never go into a tanning bed after this movie. Even like the nail gun to the face scene, like you seen the nails go through the girl's face and she's like moving and like just amazing, amazing stuff. And I absolutely love the ending of this where it ends with another premonition on a train and you realize that everybody you like especially Wendy they all die at the end so this easily could have kind of been the last movie in the series I would have been just fine with just three of these movies even though I really enjoy five but yeah overall I have a blast I mean a blast with Final Destination 3 and it probably helps that it came out when I was in high school and I watched this movie like three times in theaters I absolutely love th this movie now guys go down in the comment section below and definitely give me your ranking of this series and stay tuned i am going to be giving you my top 10 favorite kills from the franchise that should be my next video coming up in the next few days or so so definitely be looking out for that subscribe to the channel if you love all things horror and i will be seeing you guys really really soon i'll see you guys next time bye guys